Hello everyone, Sam here at Lancaster Automart and it's a lovely sunny day today. I've got this beautiful little BMW 1 series to bring you today. It's a 2 litre 118D and it's the M Sport this one. I registered in 2013 and a 63 plate, dirt cheap at 9965. It's done just under 60,000 miles and it's the automatic diesel with a full service history so that's all good. Uh, I drove this car for a good couple of days to and from Kendall, probably about 40 minutes from us here and I have to say it was a, a pleasure to drive, really nice, really comfortable. The automatic gearbox is absolutely faultless, it's, uh, it's, it's a really beautiful car. Lovely colour as well, it looks the much nuts let's be honest. Uh, it'll give you up to 72.4 miles per gallon as well, so you won't be at the fuel pump every other day. It's got an 8.9 second 0 to 60, which is, is pretty incredible out of something like this. Uh, 132 top speed, as long as you don't get caught, of course, let's be honest. We can't get that everywhere around here. Um, an engine power, 143 brake horsepower, which is plenty for a car like this. It certainly doesn't drag its feet. It's a lot of fun to drive. And as I said before, it looks the mutt's nuts. Um, so starting at the front, you've got daytime running lights. Uh, you can't see them at the moment because it's not turned on, but it's there. You've also got front fog lights there as well. And that beautiful uh, cerulean blue or whatever the colour is with BMW looks really nice. Uh, 17 inch wheels on this one. They look really nice, nice silver and blue play off each other really well. Uh, you've got window tints in the back as well, which uh, which help it look a little bit more aggressive. Really nice, nice booty shot coming into uh, into focus for you now. You've got parking sensors at the back as well. This one does come with uh, with two keys, which is ideal. Full service history, as I think I've mentioned already. Let's just show you the boot. You do get plenty of boot space with this one. Okay, there you go, guys. So as you can see, loads of boot room. Um, definitely get a couple of salesmen in there or your nano if she gets a bit sassy I'm, I'm not sure what you guys are up to ball bags maybe even a couple of dead bodies if that's what you're into under here you've got your battery to uh, to jump start if it ever does drain but you've got a little bit more space down there that you can use as a uh, storage as wine smuggling or any other type of smuggling i guess which is pretty cool <laughs> five door so loads of space let me just unlock it there you go so loads of space in there. Interior on this one's absolutely gorgeous to be fair. Blue stitching throughout. It's um, Alcantara suede and cloth in there. Really, really comfortable seats. Fan controls there in the middle for the back passengers. Really nice door carpet, blue stitching again. Full electric windows, chrome door handles. Looking really nice. You've got a nice dashboard with a screen in the center. That looks really cool. Very nice to drive as well. Nice big bolsters, blue stitching throughout again. <clears throat> You've got the leg extensions with uh, with BMW, which is fantastic. The bolsters do sort of widen and become a bit thinner as well if you need to. Now, really nice door card with full electric windows, electric adjustable door mirrors, that sort of stuff. I'm going to jump in for you now. So you do need a key to get into it, but you don't need the key out to actually start it. You've got this little button around here when it comes into focus. There you go. So the key can stay in your pocket and you can turn it on like that. Stop start at the top just to help you save some fuel. Um, I have used a bit of fuel in this bit of fuel now, but what you've got there in the middle is a, uh, a computer that'll do absolutely everything. So it tells you who's, uh, what radio station you're listening to, songs you're listening to, that sort of stuff. All your petrol gauges and stuff are on there as well. Um, moving backwards, you've got a multifunctioning steering wheel. So you've got cruise control on the left, volume controls and voice commands on the right. Just here you've got wipers which are automatic and then so you've got your indicators BMW does come with indicators use them please automatic headlights on this one you've then got your fog lights your cluster um, brightness and raising your headlights that sort of stuff you've then got the screen in the middle there which is your infotainment system now that little device there is controlled with this little wheel here which is ideal because it means you don't have to take your eyes off the road to control it so if we go back to the menu, so CD multimedia, that is CD player, auxiliary input, and there's also a USB uh, drive, uh, sort of extended hard drives and stuff like that as well. Radio is uh, FM and AM on this one. You've got a Bluetooth telephone as well, and you've got a connected drive for the BMW internet stuff. Uh, vehicle information is really cool. You can go into here, go into vehicle status, down to service requirements, uh, that one there. And then if you go, there you go, it tells you everything that the car needs, which is good. And that's all uh, sort of giving you the status of different bits and bats and stuff like that. So we'll do a service, so don't worry about that. Um, you've got your tyre pressure warnings in there and stuff as well. So really easy, anyone that's not too mechanically minded, if you have any issues, you can just go on there straight away and tell you exactly what they are. Not that you will with this one, because we'll prepare it to such a high standard through our Volkswagen dealer, which is good. You've then got central locking, hazard lights, um, temperature controls there. 
You've then got a lot of presets here for the radio. You've then got climate control, dual zone climate control as well. So I can have one temperature on my side, my passenger can have another. As you can see, this is me. I'm quite hot blooded, so I run quite hot. And that's the missus who's always freezing. Sorry, Soph. Um, on here as well, you've also got a heated rear windscreen and a quick clear front windscreen. And there's the pollen filter on there as well. Um, moving down, you've got a bit of tray here for storage. You've got a power input there, cup holders. On this bit here, you've got different drive modes. So eco mode, sport mode, comfort mode, stuff like that. Traction control there. A really cool gear shifter on this one. So you've got park, unlock button to get it into gear. Dead easy to use. You can move it across as well and you can use it to change gears with, which is ideal when you're taking over people. Then on there is your little control for the infotainment screen. Auto dimming rear view mirror. You've got a lovely little armrest in here is where your USB and auxiliary inputs are. Okay. Um, probably one or two bits that I've missed because the car has got loads and loads of spec on it. But get yourself out Lancaster Automat, ask to speak to Sam, I'll take you on a nice long test drive and we'll do a deal. Cheers guys, look forward to speaking to you soon. Bye bye. bye.